Okay, I've been wondering very recently, will we ever get a Nintendo 64 Mini or a Nintendo 64 Classic? Now, me, like many other Nintendo fans, are a massive fan of the N64, and I think it would just mean a real lot if we can finally get one of those retro mini consoles to represent the N64 that we love so much. So I've been thinking about this for a while, and in my opinion, I know that Nintendo really know what they're doing at the moment, and there is a really good reason why I think the N64 hasn't hit the shelves yet. And actually, if I'm being honest, I don't think they will. Now, having said this, guys, please, 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 I want Nintendo to prove me wrong on this. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of my reasons why I think there won't be a Nintendo 64 Mini, but I want Nintendo to prove me wrong and deliver it, because I'd really, really like to have one. Who loves games? Yes, mate. So we've seen Nintendo have some great success with the current minis that we've had. Um, I've got the NES and I've got the Super NES UK PAL version. And they're just a real great thing. They're a real great collector's piece. They look really nice. And actually they hold some fantastic games on. And it's real easy to use and a great way to output these retro games into HD, plug and play straight into the television. So they are great. So for Nintendo, you know, why won't they make an N64? Surely it will, it will be a really big seller. Well it might be, but I think there's some issues with this. So if you think about Nintendo's current strategy at the moment, they are absolutely on fire. I mean, the Nintendo Switch is performing so, so, so well. Maybe even more so, even better than they probably anticipated initially that it would. Especially after the Wii U, which is something true to my heart that I do actually really love. So, with the current Switch, the current gen doing so well for Nintendo, I mean, they're still pushing, pushing the sales on this, but actually, Nintendo Switches are still selling themselves. They're still sold out in most places. So, in my mind, would 2020 be a good time for Nintendo to go and source expensive parts that's kind of quite hard to put together at the moment with the current economy and the current situation? Would they go and do this to drive some sales at the end of 2020 for Christmas? I don't think they will. There's so much demand for the Nintendo Switch that I think Nintendo know just to stick with what is selling like hotcakes and to keep it in constant limited quantity because that seems to work so well for them. So I think for them to produce an N64 Mini it's going to be something that's going to have an upfront cost at the start to be able to produce that when actually they don't really need to do that and releasing a new Mini would actually detract some sales and traction from that which the Switch is currently projecting. So that's the first reason why I think Nintendo would look at the situation and think that it's not the right time to do that. Then going forward, 2021, would that be a good time for an N64 Mini? I don't know, I've got some issues with this, guys. So first of all, um, the previous NES and SENES Classic Minis, um, yeah, they're fantastic. If we actually think about the games themselves on these consoles, these games are the retro sprite-style graphics, and they look absolutely fantastic. They look glorious in HD, more so than they've ever looked before. Now these type of games, being the way that the sprites and the way that the graphics and engines were made, must be far, far easier for Nintendo to up-res and fully sort out to put onto these consoles. If we think about how the N64 works, Anyone that's got an N64 now, including myself, that runs the original games, everyone knows that with these type of games, they work really, really well with the retro games. So for your, your NES, your SENES, you can really get those games looking good in, say, a retro console. It just goes straight to HD. With an N64, you've got restrictions. So the problem with the way that the graphics are and the texture blurring that they use, the anti-aliasing on how they've got those games to look on SD TVs, I don't think they're going to translate to a little mini HD console quite so easily. I feel Nintendo would always want their games to look the best. 
So if, even if they do put the N64 games onto one of these consoles in the best way that they physically can, I think Nintendo will feel that the games just look like they have aged. So they would almost then be toying with the idea of remastering those games to get them on a console like this. And believe you me, if Nintendo did that, they'd be wanting a lot more money for these. You would not get a little N64 console for say $60, $70 or £50 pounds in English money. Um, when If they remaster those games, they could sell them at a massive expense per game. You're not going to get 30 of those games on one of these consoles for the acceptable retail price of what people want to pay. So I think that's a massive problem, that is a massive hole in us getting an N64 Mini Classic console anytime soon. Will Nintendo ever do it? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to take a lot for them to get the best out of it. And for cost reasons that I mentioned, I can't see it happening. Now we've also got another problem. So with these consoles, the NES and the SNES controllers well, are much easier to produce, much more cheaply. You've got, sh you've got shoulder buttons on this one, which is obviously a little bit more work than the original NES, where you just have the two coloured red buttons and your D-pad and your start and select button. But with this, you had your colour buttons, but it was still within quite a small controller. Now, with the N64, anyone that knows, loves, or actually even hates the controller, um, I'm a massive fan of the old N64 Classic controller. But the scope of these, you need to have the right scale on this controller to be able to handle it nicely. And you've got this complex joystick mechanism, which would have to be absolutely spot on for it to happen. So one idea I had with that is would they produce these controllers miniature and try to get them to work? I don't, I don't see that that would happen. But the idea that I had, and maybe Nintendo should consider this if they're wanting to do the Mini in future, is you produce the console but no controllers are included. So what that would mean is then for those of us that have got the original controllers, they can just make sure that the controller ports on the front of the console are large enough to actually accept the original controllers and that's one way of reducing the cost straight away. Additionally they could then sell proper full-scale replicas of these controllers at quite an expensive price for those that actually want to get their hands on a new controller or those that don't, don't like own any of the controllers in the first place. So that seems more viable to me. They could get, get the full price for the console, they could sell these additionally those of us that have already got them won't need any more, but actually we probably would still want new ones because we could, we could use these with our actual original N64s as well. I don't know, has Nintendo thought about this already? Nintendo are pretty wise, but if you haven't Nintendo, maybe take this on board because I would love to be able to buy a brand new Nintendo 64 controller in 2020. What do you guys think? How much would you pay for an N64 Mini? Do you think it would be worthwhile Nintendo making this? Let me know, put some comments down in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. Do you think I've come up with some valid points there? Or actually are there some other things that I've overlooked and haven't thought of so far? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yes mate. Yes mate.